What's going on, Cancer? It's your girl D here with 8th House Energy, here to bring you another reading for February 2021. I hope all is well in the Cancerian community. I do want to uh, take the time to tell you guys how I appreciate the support you've given to the channel. And I do want to uh, let you know that this is going to be a general read for Cancer. This is going to be about you and your person. This could be someone you're currently dealing with. This could be someone from your past. This could be someone you just met. Uh, this reading could be past, present, or future energies, meaning that if you're watching this and it resonated, it could have happened in the past. It could be something that you're going through right now. Or it could be something that maybe you are going to experience in the near future. Again, take what resonates, leave the rest. If this doesn't resonate, check your other placements. I post for every placement every week. Okay, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. That way you'll know uh, when I put the uh, post up because it's fresh e energy every week. Unless y'all doing the same shit y'all was doing last week. <laughs> okay, then it won't be so fresh. But the videos are new every week. Okay, um, that's because I love you guys and I appreciate your support. So um, we're going to have side A. You can be side A if you want, but we'll also have side B. Take what side resonates with you. If we get halfway through the reading and you resonated with A, but then you start to resonate more with B, feel free to switch the sides. Uh, I'm My job is to do the reading. It's not to tell you what side to take and who did what, okay? So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and shuffle for uh, side A. So I'm going to just shuffle the cards once here. Okay, we're going to do two cards for the overall uh, energy or understanding or feeling about the connection. And then we'll do two cards underneath it for the person's actions that they've taken towards the connection. Is that two cards? It's three. Okay, so we just need two, please, for Cancer. Thank you. One more. Okay. The overall energy uh, for side A here is the Ace of Swords in reverse. Okay, that's uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. And we're going to do the other side here. There will be an extended. The link's going to be in the box below because we're going to explore some additional uh, information after we uh, get into this. So just know that the link's in the box below if this resonates and you want to uh, check that out. All right, so what do we have for Cancer? What messages does Cancer need to hear for this reading? Two cards for the overall energy as far as the feelings towards the connection. Okay, thank you. One more. Thank you. And then two cards for the overall actions that were taken. Thank you. Okay, and one more for the actions for Cancer. Okay, thank you. The overall energy for this side here, side B, is the Queen of Wands. Okay, that is Aries energy. All right. So let's talk about side A here. The overall energy was the Ace of Swords in reverse, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So the Ace of Swords energy in reverse is an energy for me. I immediately feel like there's some confusion. Uh, there could be some frustration. There could be some stress. Uh, there could be, and it could be because of the lack of clarity, a lack of uh, truth, a lack of proof, uh, a lack of communication. Okay. Now, the person's um, overall feelings about this connection between uh, them and person B is the Seven of Swords reverse, which is uh, Aquarius energy. And then we have the Five of Wands, which is Leo energy. So I feel like this person's energy here, as far as their overall understanding of the connection here, is that um, there's something that's being revealed. The Seven of Swords in reverse talks about the fact that there might have been some information that was hidden. It could have been some deceitful behavior, but it's being revealed. It could also be someone um, confessing. Someone could be apologizing. Someone could be revealing their inner thoughts about a situation. Okay, uh, But we have the Five of Wands here, and this talks about... To me, this Five of Wands could talk about stress. Uh, confusion but it's passionate so it's like a lot of drama uh, a lot of obstacles um, this could also be uh, jealousy envy okay competition is what I'm feeling here so someone could be revealing that there's a lot of stress or coming to the someone could have been feeling that person a could have been feeling like you know what there's a lot of drama dealing with person B 
there's a lot of drama and I'm going to speak up and say something about it because I feel like um, this person is not being truthful and honest with me. Is what I feel like person A is saying about person B. Person A's actions toward person B is the Ace of Wands in reverse, Aries Leo Sag, and the Six of Wands, Leo Energy. So I feel like person A's um, actions here, their actions could be that this person or person B, uh, they're better off without person B is what I'm feeling here. But it could be also be something else, but we'll put clarifiers out just in case because I'm also feeling that maybe person B is saying I would rather be single. I'm sorry, what person A is saying is I'd rather be single because there's too much confusion. There's no truth in what's going on with um, person B. Or what this could be is that person A could be the one who is not telling the truth about the fact that they want to be single. But let's move on to person B. Overall energy for person B is the Queen of Wands. This is someone who's very attractive, someone who, uh, when we think about the Queen energy, we think about your emotions, your feelings, your intuition, what goes on with inside you, because I'm reading energy. All right, so uh, Queen energy is your emotions, your feelings. So I feel like inside someone's feeling beautiful, they're feeling attractive, they're feeling in control, they're feeling confident, okay? They're feeling like there's nothing that they can't do. There's nothing that stands in their way. Um, they're very excited about life, you know. I feel like this is how uh, person B is feeling. Now, their overall feelings about the connection with person A is the Eight of Pentacles, which is Virgo energy. And then the Page of Swords in reverse, which is <laughs> Libra energy. So person B's overall energy in reference to or overall feelings about the connection with person A is they're trying to figure out why person A is not speaking to them is what I'm feeling here or what could be going on is person B is just like you know what I'm not focused on person A I'm focused on my career I'm focused on me I'm focused on doing my thing I'm comfortable and confident in the situation. You know, I don't have to speak to person A. I'm comfortable not speaking with person A. Like, I feel like they're not think. <laughs> it could be that, you know, person B is just not thinking about person A. They're just focused on them. And the actions person B is taking is the Three of Swords reverse, which is more Libra energy, as well as the Ace of Pentacles, which is Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Yeah, person B, I feel like, is focused on them and taking care of themselves because the actions that they're taking is they're letting go of the frustration and the pain dealing with person A. It could very well be because they are focused on their career is what I'm feeling here with the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Um, or it could be that uh, maybe person uh, B has found someone else with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, but I feel like they're focused on their career and focused on taking care of themselves and doing their thing here. Now, let's get some clarity on both of these so that we can get into the <clears throat> meat and potatoes of what's going on here between person A and person B. So, what's the Seven of Swords in reverse for Cancer? We have the Empress Energy. Okay, Major Arcana. The Empress Energy is uh, to Taurus or Libra. And we have the Five of Wands. What's the Five of Wands for Cancer, please? We have the Four of Cups. Cancerian Energy. What's the Ace of Wands in reverse for Cancer? Oh, that's one too many. Ace of Wands. Too many. Ace of Wands. Thank you. That's the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Six of Wands. What's the Six of Wands for Cancer? Six of Wands is the King of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy. Alright, and underneath the smaller deck here we have the Moon. Okay, that is, uh, to me that's Cancerian energy. So that is your energy, Cancer. Okay, 
maybe questioning something, maybe not sure about something, um, could be concerned about something, things not making sense. That could also represent why we have the Ace of Swords in reverse here, not understanding what's going on with Person B. So let's get clarity for Person B here. Okay, let's see what the Ace of Pentacles is for Cancer. Oop, one too many. Ace of Pentacles for Cancer, please. One too many. Ace of Pentacles for Cancer, please. Just one card for the Ace of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> Alright, we had a turnover. We'll take it. It's the Three of Swords. Ace of the Page of Swords in Reverse is clarified with the Four of... Four of Wands in Reverse, Aries Energy. Three of Swords in Reverse. We have that clarified with the Queen of Pentacles in Reverse. That's Capricorn Energy. Ace of Pentacles clarified with the Five of Cups in Reverse, Scorpionic Energy. Underneath the deck here, the overall energy for the small deck is the Six of Swords in Reverse. That's Aquarius Energy. Now we had a card that turned over in here, so I'm going to pull that out. Actually, we have four that turned over because this may add to uh, the storyline here for Person B. Uh, actually, here's, another, here's two more. All right, so we're going to take them. We're going to look at them and see what's going on. Let's see if there's any more that turned over. Now, I did not notice if any turned over for Person A and their smaller deck, but I will get it and see. But underneath the deck is the Six of Swords Reverse. So let's grab these and put these to the side. And before we get in, let's see if anything turned over for Person B in their small deck. I didn't see anything turn over, so that's why I didn't mention it before, but let me just double check. That way we can get all of the all of the information, all the energies that need to be addressed out. Okay, I do not see that there's anything that turned over for person A. Alright. So again, underneath the deck is uh, the moon for person A. So person A, uh, overall energy is the ace of swords reversed. This could be some truth, some stress, some aggravation. Not There could be a lack of communication as well. So with the seven of swords reversed and the empress energy and the five of wands energy and the four of cups, I feel like what's going on with person A is person A is actually interested in person B. Person A, I feel like, is somebody who has a lot of, of uh, suitors. It could be someone who's very attractive. Um, they have a lot of people that they could deal with. But I feel like with the five of wands here and the four of cups, they're not happy with those other options. So, you know, this person's definitely not happy with those options. They want the empress. And I feel like the empress is... Uh, and this could be the emperor or empress, okay, I'm reading energy, but I feel like what this person wants is they want uh, person B here, and they look at person B as emperor or empress energy, somebody who, this is somebody who's about their money, somebody who is financially stable and can provide for themselves and could provide for somebody else as well, this could be somebody who has children, doesn't necessarily mean that, uh, but this is somebody who's a leader. This is somebody who um, goes for what they want. This is a go-getter. This is somebody that people respect and admire. Okay? And so I feel like with the Seven of Swords here, um, Person A may be uh, wanting to reveal that they want to be with uh, the Emperor, Empress Energy, or they could be... <sighs> Let's see. Hold on. Before I even say that. So we have the uh, actions that this person is taking towards person B. We have the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And then we have the Six of Wands and the King of Cups in reverse. So I feel like what's, what person A is doing is they're rejecting person B. They like person B is what I'm feeling here, but they're rejecting person B because I feel like person A is somebody who has people chasing them. They're not the type of person who has to chase anybody because see, we got the Six of Wands here and then the King of Cups reverse. So this is a player energy here. Okay, I would say that person A is a player. 
person energy person a is either in denial about how they feel about person b which is what i'm feeling here person b is um somebody that person a wants to be with now with person b over here we have the eight of pentacles clarified with the three of swords and then the uh page of swords reverse clarified with the four of wands in reverse so i feel like what person a is saying here is that ah uh, okay i feel like person a here's one scenario person a is married okay because with the seven of swords reverse clarified with the emperor person a is um in a relationship with someone or a long they're either in a long-term relationship where they've been with someone for 10 plus years they may have children with this person maybe they don't they could be married to this person they may not be but they've been with this person for at least 10 years that's how i feel about the emperor empress energy long stable long-term communicate uh connection these people could even have grandchildren together uh, but they've been together for a period of time and person a is a player though person a could have a long-term committed connection and or be married but they're a player okay because we got the five of wands here with the four of cups we also have the six of wands here with the king of cups reverse so they're a player okay and um, what's going on here is person B uh, may have realized that and stopped speaking to person A. So person B is just focused on, on their work, but they could also be focused on the fact that this was a third party situation here and they were pissed off about it. And then they stopped speaking to person A with the uh, page of swords reverse and the four of wands in reverse. It's like, okay, until you decide to separate from this person because person A is either still living with this person or still married to this person. So person B is like, until you leave person A, I'm not going to be communicating with you. I'm not going to be speaking with you. And as a result, what person A did, I'm sorry, what person B did is the three of swords reverse, clarify with the queen of pentacles reverse. And then we have the ace of pentacles clarify with the five of cups reverse. So yeah, I feel like what's going on is um, person B is saying, you know what? Um, until you leave that person that you're with, uh, you know, this situation between us is over. Okay, so this is why we have the overall energy of the Queen of Wands. This is someone who stepped up and said, you know what, I deserve better. I can do better. I don't have to settle for somebody else's wife or somebody else's husband. So, we have another one that turned over. Or what I, what are, oh, are the, wait a minute, what happened? I messed up. No, I didn't. Okay. Here they are. All right. <laughs> I was going to say I screwed that up. So, yeah. So, this is how person B is feeling about person A. So, yeah. See, person A wasn't being honest. That's why we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. Person A wasn't being honest about who they're living with. Because person B is saying with the Four of Pentacles. I'm sorry. Four of Wands in reverse. And the Page of Swords. You lied to me about who you're living with or who you're being with or who you're with. Or the fact that you're married. Because this is the Four of Wands here. All right. So person B is like you're lying about who you're with or who you're seeing. Or you're married, one or the other. Okay? And so with the actions that person B took, it said, okay, well, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to deal with you. I'm not going to be your uh, mistress. Because the, the queen of pentacles in reverse, when she's in reverse, she could be a mistress. Okay? Um, just like any of the queens when they're in reverse, they can be a mistress. The queen of wands gets a bad rap for being a, a mistress, whether she's upright or reverse. It's just because she's attractive and people want her or him, you know, king, king of wands, queen of wands, that they get looked at as, you know, players or, you know, mistresses or what have you. But any queen in reverse can be a mistress, somebody's third party. And I feel like here, uh, because this energy here is somebody who focuses on money, they're successful, they're attractive. Uh, they're deciding to say, you know what, I'm walking away from this third party situation because I'm not going to be your mistress or your, you know, your pool boy. I'm not doing it. And so as a result here, this person is looking for a stable, committed connection and they're letting go of the one that they were in or they're letting go of the situationship that they had with person A. All right. So, yeah, that's what I'm, I got going on here. So let's see what's going on with person A. So person A has not been being honest and upfront or accepting the truth of a situation they maybe they can't accept the reality that person b is cutting them off with this ace of wands energy in reverse 
It's like, how dare you cut me off? Because remember, the, the, the A person, not only do they have a wife or a husband or a long-term committed person that they have kids with or a family with or that they live with, however it works, they have a lot of people after them. They have the Five of Wands and the Six of Wands and the King of Cups reverse. So they're a player energy. They got a lot of people who they can choose from. They can mess around. They've been messing around on this person here for the longest time. So person B was like, I don't care how many people you've been dealing with. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. And so it's hard for person A to accept that. So here we here with the Queen of Swords. We have this uh, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Page of Wands. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. Alright, so what's going on here is... Yeah, they're in denial about the fact <laughs> that uh, Person B cut them off. They're in denial about it with the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Swords. It's like, I don't believe you cut me off. I, I don't believe you. Yeah, so with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, it's like, no. You, you can't not think about me. You know, with the um, eight, the six, with the eight of pentacles in reverse and the page of wands, you can't not think about me. Is what I'm feeling here. There's a lot of ego with this energy here, this a this a person here, and then we have the ten of pentacles. It's like this person, the a person, is still gonna go after person B regardless to the fact that they have have some like this person is is very cocky and they could care less it feels as though this person has dealt with a lot of people who didn't care about their marital status or their long-term commitment with someone else and so person A is like well why do you care about that B but person B is let's see person B here we have the queen of wands is like look I don't I don't have to settle for somebody else's you know I don't have to settle for somebody's second best. I don't have to do that. You know what I mean? You're not going to have me stressed out with the Nine of Swords, you know, because you lying to me with the Queen, with the Knight of Swords in reverse, uh, because you're still dealing with someone from the past or you're too immature to uh, move forward with the Two of Wands in reverse in a stable, committed relationship. You know, you're not able to move forward. You can't do it. So all that's going to happen is this is just going to be a fling. And uh, B is like, no, I'm not having that. So the top five cards here that we have for B is the uh, Six of Swords in reverse. So yeah, B is like, you're not going to, I'm not going to be stuck on this situation here. I'm not going to be just stuck, <laughs> you know, as somebody you just come to when you want to and that's that. I'm not, I'm not living that life. I'm going to move on. Yeah, with the Two of Wands here and the Fool energy, I'm going to move on and I'm going to find somebody who is on my level or on my playing field. You know, I'm not dealing with somebody who's married or who's in a committed connection um, and just be a number, you know, with the five of wands in reverse. I'm not doing that. That's what I feel like B is saying. <clears throat> a over here with the small deck is like really just, <laughs> like I said, with the um, with the moon energy, this is funny to me because this person is just really not able to accept the fact that they've been rejected. Like this person has a hard time dealing with that. You know, because of the fact that, yeah, well, I'm married, but I'm not with that person, you know, is what they're saying here. Right. And so they're still dealing with the other person with the uh, lover's energy here, but they're watching person B. So they're still watching person B. They could be um, uh, stalking person B outside of person B's house, outside of person B's job. Uh, they may know people that person B deals with, so they could be checking out pers person D's friends, asking, hey, what's up with person B? They could be um, watching person B's social media. Uh, they could be trying to send messages to person B via online, via the phone, what have you. But person B is not speaking to this person. Now, the other cards that came out with person B is the Eight of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, the Page of Wands. The Emperor, the Ace of Wands, and the Magician. So Person B is just like, you know what? They weren't really sure what was going on. They weren't really sure about the situation at first. Maybe Person B felt like, okay, well, let me just see what's up. And then as Person B went on into the connection, they realized, nah, this is not what I want. So they immediately stopped it with the Knight of Wands. I'm sorry, with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Because they realized it was just going to be sex. B 
because person A is in a long-term committed connection and married or otherwise taken. So all it would be is just sex with the Ace of Wands. And so as a result with the magician energy here, the paid, um, the person B here is like, you look, you know what, let me just manifest what it is that I want. So that's what I'm feeling is going on here. We had one more card that turned over that I missed. And that was the King of Wands. So yeah, it's like... <laughs> This is the, you know, this person, this is B. B is a very attractive individual, but yet they're, um, they're married. So what A is, what B is, I'm sorry, A is a very attractive person, but they're married or in a long-term committed connection. So what B is saying is B is like, you know what, I'm going to manifest my king of wands here because I'm the queen of wands or I'm the king of wands and I want to manifest my king or my queen. So this is what person B is doing. It's like, I want who I want for me. So <laughs> that's what I'm getting here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the extended and find out because I know right now person B is not talking to person A. So what we're going to find out is in the extended, how does person B actually feel? Well, how does person A actually really feel about person B? Um, what actions is person A going to take towards person B? And um, we know that person B is either in a marriage or a long-term committed relationship. We're going to find out what's up with that relationship. And then we're going to find out if there's going to be any communication. Uh, from person A going to person B, all right? And then we'll find out what the outcome of that communication will be. So if this resonates, let me know in the comments, please. And also click that like button. And uh, make sure you hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you can check your other placements as well. So we're going to go ahead to the extended. The link's in the box below. Hopefully I will see you there. If not, Cancer, thank you so much for checking in, checking out the video. Uh, appreciate your support, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.